Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to do is introduce you to what is called the factor theorem. And essentially if you've got a polynomial, f of x is a polynomial, that's something of this particular format where we have an expression that goes down in descending powers of x. Something like these two examples here. Here we have a polynomial of degree 2 as we say where the highest power here is 2 and this one is a polynomial of degree 3 because the highest power here is 3. Now if you have a polynomial f of x and let's just suppose that the polynomial can factorize. Take for instance this polynomial here. It does factorize. It factorizes to two factors. One of them is x minus 4 and the other one is x plus 1. Two factors then. Let's just put those factors down. So the first factor was x minus 4. So x minus 4 is a factor. And we've got the other factor was x plus 1. Now something special happens when you've got factors. If I was to let x equal 4 in this expression, then what we've got here is that for this first factor, 4 take away 4 would give us 0. This factor would come to 5, 4 and 1 is 5. But nonetheless, 0 times 5 would give us 0. So in other words, it follows that f of 4 would give us 0. And if I was to look at this factor, if I was to let x equal minus 1, we'd have minus 1 add 1, which is 0. This factor would come now to minus 5, minus 1, minus 4, minus 5. We'd have minus 5 times 0, which would give 0. So when x is minus 1, we get 0. So in other words, f of minus 1 gives 0. Now we can reverse this procedure, we can say that if f of 4 equals 0, it follows that x minus 4 must have been a factor of f of x. And if f of minus 1 equals 0, it can follow that x plus 1 is a factor of f of x. We call factors like this linear factors. They have the format ax plus b linear factors then. Let's take this polynomial here of degree 3, often called a cubic polynomial. If you were to factorize this, you'd find that you would get a linear factor, x minus 2, multiplied by what is often called a quadratic factor, 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. Now I'm not expecting you to be able to factorize this at this stage. What I just want you to appreciate is that if you were to multiply these two brackets out you'd get this polynomial here. But nonetheless x minus 2 is a linear factor of f of x. We've got two factors here x minus 2 multiplied by this other factor 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. But the most important thing that I want to put across again is if we look at the linear factor that is x minus 2 is a linear factor. Let's just put it here. x minus 2 is a factor. If we were to let x equal 2, this would come to 0. This factor here would be 0. 0 times anything would be 0. So if x is 2, f of 2 would give 0. So it follows that f of 2 equals 0. And again, we can reverse this statement that if f of 2 equals 0, it follows that x minus 2 must have been a factor of f of x. So what I'm saying is, basically, in general, if we were to take any polynomial f of x and 
it was possible to factorize it with a linear factor. Let's suppose that linear factor was of the form x minus p. So you had x minus p multiplied by some other factor. All right, it could be another linear factor, it could be a quadratic factor, it might even be a cubic factor, and so on. Nonetheless, what we have got is essentially that in this particular case, x minus p is a factor, is a linear factor. And if we follow the idea that if we let x equal p, then p minus p is 0, 0 times anything will be 0. So it follows that f of p would give us 0. And if f of p equals 0, it follows that x minus p must have been a linear factor of f of x. And we can take this a little further. I mean, suppose we have f of x is identical to x plus q being a linear factor, being multiplied by some other factor. Then we can see that x plus q is a factor of f of x. And if you put x equal to minus q, minus q plus q is 0. 0 times this other factor will be 0. So it follows again from here that f of minus q must be equal to 0. And if f of minus q equals 0, it follows that x plus q is a linear factor. And it's this idea that is basically the factor theorem. So I've summarized it for you here that if f of x is a polynomial and f of p equals 0 then x minus p is a factor of f of x or if f of x is a polynomial and f of minus q equals 0 then x plus q is a factor of f of x. And we can use this idea to help factorize polynomials especially cubic polynomials and above. Okay? So I hope you'll look at that tutorial. Well, that brings us to the end of this tutorial on what the factor theorem is.